Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today is going to be, um, I just did some videos and a lot of people have been asking me to do a video talking about my tattoos and I decided to um, sit down and kind of get a little up close and personal <laughs> and talk about my tattoos. Um, I will do a little forewarning, um, all of my tattoos and, um, and this is the number one reason why I wanted to do this is, um, for people who really don't have tattoos, there's always a stigma about tattoos and why people get them or the value of having them. And um, I feel like they're a lot more accepted now, but I still wanted to sit down and let you guys know what my tattoos are because for me personally, my tattoos reflect a time of my life, um, people in my life. So I hope you enjoy. Leave comments and let me know what you think. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna go from my first tattoo. So the first tattoo I got, I got it when I was 15. Like I said, my I, I, I kind of have a crazy story myself, but I mean, we all do, don't we? Um, so I got this, and this is a, um, it's my cancer sign, uh, which is a six and a nine, which is the symbol, the zodiac symbol of a cancer, and a heart with wings. Um, during that time, um, my mother was in jail, and, um, you're gonna learn uh, my mom and me have a very tumultuous relationship. Um, love her to death. She had sent me a picture. She used to write me a lot when she was in jail and she sent me a letter. In the bottom, she had this drawing and it said, the love of yourself will make you soar. I literally went to the swap meet in San Bernardino. No, it was in Fontana on Sierra. Sh yeah, and I literally paid some guy 40 bucks and he did this for me. And I like totally hit it, but I thought it was so cool. <laughs> And then my second tattoo is actually a lot of people don't really see it um, because it's on the back of my neck and it is a barcode the barcode is uh, my dad actually took it uh, he took me to go get it on my 18th birthday and um, it's actually the numbers on the barcode are the date my brother was born and the date my brother died so I am the oldest of 11 kids they are all step and half uh, siblings. I love I love them all equally. I love them to death, especially my brother Joseph. He may or may not be my favorite. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> I was two and my brother Derek, and I'm the oldest, so he would have been the second oldest. Um, he was seven months, I was two, and he passed away from crib death. It's called SIDS, S-I-D-S, Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, and it's when you just fall asleep and you don't wake up and uh, there's still no real cause to it but it was um, really hard for my mom and my dad that actually was the journey of how my interesting life started <laughs> to be honest um, so i got the barcode because barcodes are synonymous to one object one object one barcode one number for that for that object so i uh, wanted to get uh, the date of his birth and the date of his death because um I feel he's with me every day and I feel he's a part of me. I feel I am a part of him. So that's why I got that tattoo. So now starting on, so we'll start with this arm. So this arm is four of the five most influential people in my life. Um, and it's the flowers of their birth months. So they're the fifth person we'll talk about after, but it is my grandfather my brother, the one who passed away, a drag queen, and uh, my high school dance teacher. So the first one is my grandfather. Um, my grandfather and my grandmother raised me for the majority of my childhood. My grandfather has taught me some of the most amazing lessons in my life. Some of you guys might know, but I do a lot of uh, speaking. I would hope to call it motivational speaking, but I do speaking. And um, my grandfather has actually laid down a lot of the values that I teach and I didn't learn those values till after his death. He passed from cancer. He was my father when my father wasn't around. So I really appreciate him, especially now as an adult. I really, really appreciate him. Um, his name is Fernando and he was my dad's father. He is one of the most important people in my life is because he was my father when my father wasn't around and he taught me things that I still am sharing and learning from today. And so the next one is my brother, uh, Derek, the same one I got the barcode for.
my brother Derek is, like I said earlier, the only sibling that is from my mom and my dad, my like full-blooded biological brother. And I got him on me because my life would have been totally different if he was alive, I think. Um, when he died, my parents both went in their own little dark spirals and I was left with my mom's mother who I don't call grandmother because I don't think she deserves it. <laughs> and um, it was a really, really rough for me. Um, she didn't really care that much. She's deaf, so that's why I understand deaf people is because, well, she's deaf. And the first words she taught me was, hey, um, she didn't really like me. She said, I hate you. And um, she, if my brother didn't die, I would have been in a totally different circumstance. But luckily my grandparents, my, my, my dad's mother and father found me and took me and raised me and literally taught me the values of being moral, loving, and caring. So, you know, so my brother was a huge part of my life and I'm, you know, I'm not glad that he is gone. I, I wish he was here. Um, I don't really know him because I was two and he was seven months, but there's a part of me that fills, fills him with me every day. The third one is my high school dance teacher. Her name is Nicole Atlas Robinson. Um, if she's the she's the dance teacher at AB Miller in Fontana, California, and she was my mother when my mother wasn't around. And um, I was moved around a lot, but I went to AB Miller my junior and senior year, and she was the first person in my life that inspired me artistically um the the summer before i started going to uh av miller high school i at i started getting into dance a lot my parents were both dancers so my dad was you know pop locker my mom they would always get down so i got into dance class and i wound up being uh, the first guy ever to be on their high school on my high school's dance team i was even on my all-male hip-hop team my senior year voted best dancer <laughs> she really inspired me and she i didn't go to school my freshman year because i was moved around a lot and homeschooled and going through a lot of different things but she inspired me so much and i actually just po post something about her that she still inspires me to this day and she inspires so many people. I, I don't really know how active I would have been in pursuing many things like dance and makeup and art. And so that's why I got her. And the fourth one is a drag queen. Um, some of you might know her. His name is Sutan Amaral and his drag name is Raja. He won a uh, season three of a Mer uh, uh, what is it, RuPaul's Drag Race? I was about to say America's Next Top Model, but he was a makeup artist on there. And so I've known Sutan for, man, maybe 12 years now. Oh, more, maybe more than that. I was, he was my big, he was the big brother I never had. He helped me with the, when, you know, when we first met, I had a car and um, he didn't, but he was doing all these gigs. So I would always drive him around and he, he was the one who really inspired me to be a makeup artist. He was the one that told me, you should pursue makeup. You should do this. You should do this. Um, a lot of, I mean, nobody really knows, but my first friends in the gay community were drag queens and transgender uh, men and women. They were the ones that inspired me to be an artist because I would sit in the backstage of performing at like different clubs. There used to be this club called Oz and I think Anaheim that, you know, I used to get snuck into. And they were the ones who first opened those doors for me. But Sutan actually, help me make a life changing decision uh, to uh, take care of my mom which I will talk about later but he is such an amazing artist he has such a big heart and soul and it was because of him that I, I literally went full full throttle with makeup and just said okay you know what I'm, 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 I think I want to be a makeup artist Okay, so, so we just talked about how these are four of the five most influential people in my life. And my, my neck and my side of my head are four 
the most influential person in my life and that's my grandmother. Oh, I fucking love her so much. She is my sanity. In my life, oh God, fuck. I've had a crazy life and I'm not trying to say anything. A lot of people have had crazy lives, but she's taught me some amazing things and she is such a beautiful person. And as crazy as my life was, whenever I was with her, I was just, she was, she's a sanity in my life. Her name is Frances. I love you, Grandma. <laughs> if you go into my grandmother's house, there's owls everywhere. She is literally what an owl is. That is literally like her, her, her fucking crest. Like, she is knowledgeable. She's wise. She's caring. She's loving. Everybody who knows her, just like, oh, the owls, the owls, the owls. And every time I think about her, I swear I see one. So we were watching a movie called My Big Fat Greek Wedding. And there was a point where one, I think it was the mom, and she was like, she was just like, your, 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 your father's the head of the house, but I'm the neck. And the neck can turn the head in any direction that they want. My grandmother looked at me and she's like, that's me, mijo, that's me, that's me. And I always thought about that. As you'll learn more about me in the future, like we all, we always have our ups and downs. And um, when I decided to get this, um, I, I got it because I wanted to remind myself and I wanted something to uh, make me remember to choose wisely. And so I got the owl on my neck and hoping that she helps guide me in making uh, the right choices in life. And this is literally the, the most important tattoo I have. Well, well, I guess they're all important, but this one is really meaningful because of my grandmother. And so right here, I have a hummingbird. And in my grandmother's backyard, there is a hummingbird tree. And there are always hummingbirds all the time, shit tons of hummingbirds just flying around. And when I was younger, my grandmother used to say that the hummingbirds um, whisper secrets into her ear. That's why they're always around her. My grandmother does have diabetes, and there was a time when I got this that she wasn't doing really well, and it got everybody in the family a little nervous. I was so sad one day that I literally said, you know, I wish the hummingbirds would whisper secrets into my ear. And then I was like, I want to get that tattoo. And so I got this tattoo so that when I feel lost, that I know that, you know, that there's somebody whispering secrets into my ear. It's a little corny, but I like it. <laughs> my forehead tattoo, um, which is probably what I get asked the most about because I put a freaking tattoo on my forehead. So across the street from my grandma's house, uh, there was a guy who, uh, he was like a friend of the family, almost like another grandfather. And he had this, which is, is Greek and it means Merakai. And he had it tattooed right here. So what it, what this means is to do something with passion. So like in, in, in Greek culture, like you, when your mom cooks, she cooks with Merakai with her with passion. And so he say like, you know, whatever you do, do with passion. He also told me that, cause I asked him why he got it on his finger. And he said his family, who all of his brothers have it, they only get this word on four parts of their body. And it's the four parts of your body that when used together can change the world. And that is your mind, your mouth, your heart, and your hand. And he said nobody in his family had ever got it, obviously, on their mind. And I thought it was such a, an empowered, empowering message. And I thought it was such a, um, an inspiring message that when he passed on last year, I wanted to move that message forward. And my family has always called me the thinker. And I believe that my mind is a reflection of my heart. And I think it's a good conversation starter. So believe me, I walked back and forth a lot before I decided to get it, but I wanted it. And I, it's one of my favorite tattoos, meaning I'm, I'm, I was so excited to get it because I thought it was such an inspiring message of, and you know, it's a good conversation starter. <laughs>